How's it going everyone? Today we have another cold winter day outside and what I'm gonna do today is since it's now January I'm gonna unpack the uh, Shelby here I'm gonna hook up the uh, trickle charger on the battery get keep the battery nice and running and I'll probably check the uh, fluids of the vehicle as well so we'll do that together I'll put the camera down I'll unpack the vehicle and um, I'll be right back Okay, first step is done. The um, car is unpacked. The hood is uh, opened. Open the latch. And um, one short note for you guys, if you have your cars in a garage, um, make sure you go and check on them sometimes because I had a mouse in here and I came in and the mouse was kind of on the floor uh, with its leg in a mouse trap and uh, it, it had pooped in a corner not much so by the amount of the poop i could tell there was only one mouse and that it was not in here long uh, plus it, it pooped green so it ate some poison somewhere well uh, good that's good for me bad for the mouse good for me uh, make sure you check on mice or other critters in your garage as you can tell this is not a garage that's wide open but mice always find a way in and um, they do love cars too especially electric cars with the battery when you plan keep and plug it in the battery is warm and uh, that warms this cozy for the mouse so they might climb in there if you park for for a couple months and they might live in your uh, nice electric car okay that being said off to step two all right here we go the car is open and um, since I had that mouse in the room here I Put up some extra light so I can look through the engine bay here and make sure there's no mouse residue anywhere. I don't think there is, but you know, you don't want to have that stuff to start in your garage with your nice car. So it's always good to check in little corners uh, if a mouse has been in or not, and I don't see anything. Because not only are they annoying and poop all over the place, they also eat your um, insulation of the wires and uh, can cause all kinds of damage and electric problems in, uh, in your vehicle. Now it looks good. Um, get the battery ready. Plug it in. Take this off. Here we go. Carefully put that aside. And here's the battery. It doesn't really look small. It always looks so small to me. I'm used to bigger batteries by other vehicles, I guess. And here we go. Get the trickle charger out. I'll hook that up and um, we'll make sure that battery stays nice and fresh. Now, that being said, that battery there came with the vehicle in 2017. And so it is getting old you know batteries don't last forever this is a ford motor company battery they are pretty good quality but still they don't last forever so i may have to think about replacing that during the next come the upcoming year and i'll have to see what battery i will replace it with you know that's one of the things to uh, think about and let's check how many miles i have i'm embarrassed i don't have many miles at all here let's see come on, it's all booting up here Come on. Are we a little slow today or what? Ah, let's take a seat in here. System off to save battery. Okay. Well, I guess it's good that I get the trickle charger out then. So let's do that instead of wasting time by uh, looking into the car. All right, I did that. And uh, I'm sure you're all car guys and know how to do it. You put the positive. The red clamp on the positive terminal of the battery and the black one on the uh, negative meaning on the um, a part of the body the chassis of the car uh, and then the trickle charger changes into uh, the charging mode which is which it shows with indicating um showing the light the orange amber um, light you know if that's on it is charging the uh, battery, when I buy a new one, I thought about buying a different kind, a lighter battery, but then I thought, 
it's kind of silly too, you know, you save a little bit of weight, but what if I gain a couple of pounds, you know, it's kind of stupid if you think about it that way, I'm not a race car driver, so um, I think I'll just do a stock battery again, or I'll, I'll probably ask around and see what other guys do, what they find, but I don't drive as much, so I'll probably be well off with just the normal stock battery from Ford and I can do that. I can put that on myself too, you know, not need anyone to put a battery in for me. It's a good spot where the battery is, it's easy to put it in. After this car, I'm gonna do the same with the Mercedes. And same there, very easy to replace the battery because it's in the um, in the trunk, on the right side of the trunk. So, and that's a big battery, very large uh, battery. All right. This thing here is done. Let's check again. I don't think it will chime me the mileage, but it might. It's not showing me much here. Let's wait a second and see what it does. Let's um, turn on the ignition. There we go. Okay, I know that that's open. Alright, now it shows me at least the mileage there and it says 12,496 miles So that is not much. There's a temperature here in the garage. I have it heated Probably hear the heater. So cylinder head temp is now 46 59 for inlet air. That sounds like too hot. I don't think it's even 59 in here, but that's what it says trends oil temperature 46 and yeah, axle oil. So everything is basically about 46 uh, degrees. And as you see, the tires are a little bit on the low end. And I have a um, air compressor here too, so I can take care of that as well. All right, turn it off. Exit the vehicle. And I say thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon for the next video. Can't wait to get this eased out of the road again and drive it. I miss the sound. I just, just miss driving it around. It's, it's so much fun. So thanks for watching. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and um, I'll see you in my next video. Have a fun day.